Hello YouTube, Take Cake Tech here. I just wanted to show you uh, how to upgrade your computer silently to Windows 11 or upgrade many computers with PowerShell. So right now we're on the Insider webpage here. You do have to sign in with an account that has access to the Insider build. Um, not too hard to do. Click on the beta channel for now. It doesn't really matter. Click Confirm. Select our language. We'll select English for me. And then we will copy the, you, the link URL. Okay, so I'll just paste it here for now, and then I wrote a function. I'll link to the this in uh, in the description as well as the link for the ISO. Let's clear our shell here. We'll just paste the function in. Now we'll just type it. Install. Then it requires the URL, which I copied out, which is right here. We'll paste that in, and then let it run. Um, you can also provide extra arguments here too. I didn't in this case, uh, but yeah, so we'll let this run. Um, right now it's not running quiet, so once it starts running, I will, uh, I'll return to the video and you can kind of see what it does. It's very similar to the Windows 10 upgrade from what I could tell, so we'll just let it run here. If, if you do throw the quiet switch in, it will run silently. Um, depending on what user you run it as, it probably won't show for the user anyways, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, I usually do use the quiet switch when I know I have everything working. Um, and, and just something else to keep in mind here, they did this with Windows 10. You could always download the ISO from their website, but it, the link is only valid for 24 hours. Now, I, I wouldn't mind putting this link up so people could download it themselves, but uh, Microsoft has been known to sue people for redistributing their software, so you will most likely always have to go to their website to get that that uh, download or you could put it on your own file share on site um, which you just have to change a few a few parameters in this function and i could more more than happy to help you do that uh, or or uh, you know do it yourself and do a pull request on github so we'll be back thanks so i do have a fast internet connection so it did uh finish downloading already it only took like two minutes which is crazy even before with microsoft's download it took oh here we go so it didn't meet the minimum requirements. It's actually uh, kind of interesting too. Uh, so you do need, you know, it, it will stop if it doesn't meet the requirements. So that's good. You're not going to break any computers. So I'm going to quickly turn my Hyper-V VM off and I'll start the process over again. But kind of cool to see. So one second. All right, it just finished the second time here. Uh, if you wanted to see, you can you can do the mandatory here. Put the URL in. Just make sure you put quotes. I will return here once it's done I'm gonna actually just let the video roll without the camera while this process goes through uh, so you can kind of see the full process and what it should like if you don't have the quiet switch running so I'm gonna quickly break take the camera off and then we will uh, we will let this run and I will speed it up All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna sign in here now, and uh, should uh, you know do like the normal Windows 10 thing where it tells you it just might take a while, uh, yada yada. I'll post a link here to some other some other person's video who kind of goes over the uh, the manual upgrade of it. I watched it uh, briefly, and it looks like he does a really good job of explaining it. I just wanted to really briefly show you uh, tests and methods that I've used for upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Uh, and it's the same method I used a thousand times through RMM tools uh, from 8 or 7 to 10. Uh, the only difference here is, is that Windows 10, by default, with uh, running a higher PowerShell version, allows you to mount the ISO. And then with that mounted ISO, you just run the setup.exe with the switches. So I'll also link to where you can get those uh, switch upgrades uh, or the switches to use. I didn't. I didn't do any of the normal ones. I do. Uh, if this like, if people actually watch this, I, I have other methods I've used that make it a little bit faster. It's a little bit more risky. Uh, you could put it on your local server. You could, you know, share it out quickly. You could. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, I've used Azure File Storage to do it. Uh, you will pay, but I'm a MSDN user, so I get $150 free a month. So when I'm testing, uh, obviously that's pretty nice. So. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did ha or you have any questions, uh, feel free to join the Discord. I'm really trying to get better at uploading. I do have a lot more videos uh, that I will get to. 
I've been working on my AZ140, so uh, my time has been really consumed with learning, uh, learning about Azure Virtual Desktops, but I'm really excited about Windows 11 uh, from the cloud space and the local space. There's a lot of really cool upgrades uh, that Microsoft talks about. I would highly recommend looking into it, but uh, have a good day. And if you made it this long, please hit the subscribe button, like or dislike. Thanks. Bye, YouTube.